Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to another episode of Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Chad Fury333, and we're overlooking the lower swampy area of the profane capital. The safe way of going through it. Which, admittedly, being that it's still toxic and thus moving purple lost clumps away, I don't really see it being that much safer, but we'll find a way. So to recap, went through from back here. Where all the titanite lizards were because they're now dead and no longer there and there was also this path here and okay now i've got to learn the hard way how to go about this and run to the toxic yeah oh these are actually easy really okay straight out of bloodborne why did the oh man i can't remember what these were though but there's like this is the thing that's in bloodborne right i want to say it was Oh, right, I did say what it was. It was the... It was those ticks in the castle in... I can't remember what the castle's name again. The one that was basically based off Castlevania. But... It was... Well, whatever it was. I can't remember. Canehurst! I can't remember why I can't... I can't believe I can't remember that name. Canehurst Castle. That's what I'm thinking of. All right, there are my souls. There's the annoying thing that killed me before. Which I'm feeling really embarrassed about because these are trivial enemies. The hard part isn't the enemies. The hard part is the toxic swamp. And also the enemies being relatively quick. But they're easy to kill. Okay, you know what? Nope. Not going to bother with that. I'll keep a crossbow just in case. Okay, so let's see here. Ah, uh, no. I'm going to cover myself with shit. I'm just going to smear my... I'm going to just smear shit all over myself. I'm pretty sure it's the best strategy. And I... What? Hang on, let's reread the description of that. Because in Dark Souls 1, it turned you toxic. Throw enemy to inflict toxic buildup, but also ups your own toxicity. Oh. Wait, really? Yeah, it ups it a little bit, but okay. In Dark Souls 1, you got toxic. You just got straight up toxic from that. Well, I guess we'll find out the hard way just how toxic toxic is. And it's a bit annoying. Definitely on the stronger end of toxin. But not unmanageable. Although, admittedly, I'm going to want to SS up fairly regularly. But this is fine. This is actually... I mean, it's not comfy, obviously. I'm still, you know, dying slowly of poison. But it's not as bad as I thought it would be. And I'm not gonna... I don't think bother with... I just got a poison bite ring. Or is it a curse bite ring or not? Oh, sheesh. I'm standing right here. You can't even hit me. I am disappointed. I am thoroughly disappointed in your skills. Poison gem, so I get poisonous weapons, and it looks like the rest of the stuff is just killing more of these spider monsters, which is relatively trivial. These, I, okay. Wow, I can't believe these caused me so much trouble. I guess it really was just the surprise. I mean, they got the jump on me, and that's kind of what did it. Otherwise, it's relatively trivial. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm probably not going to bother too much with a poison ring here. Because the poison ring basically is really useful if you don't expect to actually get poison in the meantime. But not so useful if you are actually currently poisoned or toxic or whatever. And I really should put the Blooming Purple Moss Glam on because I'm going to die if I don't. But yeah, it's not so useful if you don't because the thing is, that poison bar, which I think, yeah, there is. The poison number here, that affects both how long it takes to get poisoned and I'm fairly certain also affects how long it takes to recover from it. Because I might be mistaken, I'm fairly certain the way it works is that when you get poisoned, or any damage over time effect, but usually I think poison's the only one, actually, because frost... No, frost is also, yeah. Bleed is not damage over time, neither is curse. Bleed is just a bunch of damage, curse is instant death. Frost and poison, however, are gradual. Fairly certain that you... The amount you recover is static. Like, it's just a number. But the amount you have is based on your resistance. Like, it is your resistance. So once you get to 224 poison count, you're poisoned, in my case. Or, well, I do, I should say. 
Where is that? Yeah, there's the poison bite ring, which 314. I'd be curious how much that actually makes a difference, though. Yeah, it's a bit hard to test because the poison meter is the same size all the time. Oh, what? Does that not affect toxic? Seriously? I... What? No, I can't really tell. Nope. And in case you're wondering, the reason I'm getting poison is not because I'm getting poison, it's because the way the bar works. I'm actually... This empty spot, the empty spot of the bar, that's the spot of the bar that matters. Oh, I can't show it when I'm paused. But yeah, that's the spot of the bar that makes a difference. And so the part that's filled up is actually the part that's subtracted. It's a bit of a weird system. But yeah, that's how it works. Same thing that happened when Blood Bite. Yeah, you see, because the resistance went up. But I don't know if it really matters, because it doesn't look like Toxic gets its buildup changed. Really? Seriously? I'm kind of disappointed. Nope. Okay, either Toxic is based on a hidden value, or its value is completely independent of armor. And it's just a raw value. Oops. That was the wrong way to go. Hey, Bloody Cane hurts leeches. Or ticks, rather. Alright. What's down here? Monstrosity ahead. I'll deal with it in a sec. First, I want to grab this item right here, and then I want to grab the ladder that was brown back. Okay, so this item right here... Oh, there's another one of you. Oh, no, wait. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna have to do the thing. With the Blooming Purple Moss Clump. Of which I have two. I'm gonna have one now. Alright. Okay, you know what? Let's just test this. Let's just... Oops. Let's just see how long it takes for me to actually get... Toxic if I go through here. And it looks like it changes nothing. All right, so I'll keep the Ultra Sapphire on. Well, now we know Toxic is not affected by anything that I would expect it to be. Except maybe armor, but certainly not the Poison Resist stat. Which I am disappointed by. Also run! Okay. See, what I'm expecting is that there's some big boss down there. I don't know if it's Aldrich. I almost expect it is Aldrich. This seems like a goo place that Aldrich the goo lord would really like. But, I don't know. I f However, if there's a monstrosity ahead, it's probably a boss. And if it's a boss, it's probably a pain in the butt that I don't want to deal with without having a backup plan to be able to get around it a bit more easily. Or at least to find a way back safely to where I started. Or the bonfire. Or a shortcut. Or something. Or anything. Where the heck am I? Well, you're not gonna... Oh. I want to manage Come on. Well, whatever. Ow. I'm impressed you actually managed to hit me. Not that it'll do you much. Oops. Well, whatever you are. Good luck with that. Was that... I think that was a special enemy. Logan? Let's just say Big Hat Logan. All right, story time. Let's see. Big Hat Logan, for those of you not familiar, that was a big NPC in Dark Souls 1. Sorcerer, like, the the second sorcerer merchant you got, who gave you a lot better sorceries. Anyway, Secret Soul of the Profane Capital Court Sorcerers, containing sorceries of Logan. Give it to a sorcerer to learn Logan sorceries. The court sorcerers use this scroll to claim airship to Logan's legacy. Though how that claim stands up to closer scrutiny is another story. So yeah, Big Hat Logan... Really powerful sorcerer from Dark Souls 1 who died because Dark Souls. Well, rather, he went hollow because he found that the big, well, Seath, who is basically the, in a sense, god of sorcery, had sorcerers, sorceries that were just way, be, I don't know if they were just way beyond the ken or if they were horrifying because of the immortality experiments that Seath was trying to do or anything like that. 
But for whatever reason, Logan went nuts. And then you kill him. Welcome to Dark Souls! Meet fa travel in exciting new places. Meet fascinating people. Help them with their own journeys. And then kill them when they go insane. Okay, back up to Irithal Dungeon. Oh, what? Wow, really? Huh. Good call. Good, very good call. I mean, I was sort of thinking, okay, it's... What? Nothing's going on. I'm not getting through this. Invisible enemies... I mean, we saw earlier in the game, but totally invisible enemies apparently were a thing in 2. But wasn't expecting them to be a thing in 3. Anyway, Aristocrat's Mask. Mask worn by jailers of Irithal Dungeon. Nobleman delighted in its plump features. The jailers were among the few survivors inhabiting the profaned capital, later serving under Pontus Sullivan. Perhaps the screams emanating from the cells helped them forget their old home. How morbid. Oh yeah, you also get an upvote. Good calls all around. So where's the shortcut? Because, see, remember I was talking about how I looked down here and I thought, man, how do I get down here from up there? Because that's where the bonfire was and I was just really confused. Now I know. What I don't know is how I actually get back to there from here in order to close the loop and... Oh, Jailer's key ring. Ooh! Oh! There's a locked door near the original bonfire we were at and I'm pretty sure that's what the key ring opens. I'm gonna see, but anyway... Ring of keys to the Irithal dungeon held by the Jailer. Opens most cell doors. On what grounds do they remain imprisoned, considering that by now they're mindless hollows, or unrealized gibbering fools? Well, on the grounds that this is a dark medieval fantasy, and therefore you get imprisoned for anything, and everything, and nothing. Hooray for unabashed autocratic power! Yay! All right, so is there a path back? Secret wall, something? Or is this just items and false hope that I'm gonna get back to a bonfire before having to deal with that monstrosity? That doesn't involve me going through a bit of a tricky section, through another tricky section, down through a poison swamp. Actually, you know, come to think of it, the run back isn't too bad, so I guess I shouldn't complain. So I won't. I am, however, curious if I am missing anything else, though, because I noticed there is down there an elevator. Oh, I'm right to notice that. That actually is elevated. There's an elevated platform. There's a giant sleeping down there. Have I explored everything that does not have a... Re or that has a return path? And the answer appears to be yes, so the only other options now are the ones that have no return path. Things such as these. Yes! I found it! My other miracle. How much space does it require? It probably requires 30. It requires 30. Okay. Primal form of force creates a powerful shockwave. Wrath of the Gods is an epic tale, while force is but a woefully incomplete version of that yarn. This primal account of profound fury emits a shockwave that also inflicts damage. And is super awesome whenever someone's trying to retreat away from you. I mean... As I've kind of pointed out before, my playstyle is basically built around how do I deal damage to things running away. Wait, is, is that a beast with a hand for a head? Yep. Oh no, not quite, it's worse. Whoa, what the? Much worse. Huh, okay. Alright, I think I got this. Oh, wow, nice. Oh, oops. It's like the trolls in two. Ow! Okay, I don't have this. I don't got this! I don't got this! But yeah, stuff tries to run away from me. That's what the crossbow's for, and now we're after the gods. I mean, I don't know how many people actually watched the announcement video I made, but 
There was a cool moment when I was recording the Dark Souls 1 footage that you would have seen, which was me using Wrath of the Gods on a bunch of zombies. And that, or a bunch of the basic hollows, and that was cool. More shit. And court sorcerer stuff. More story time. Hang on. Okay, they're not nearby. Hood worn by court sorcerers of the profane capital. This tall, dark headpiece suggests that they may have also been oracles. There are many sorcerers who claim to heirship of the great sage Big Hat Logan, and the profane capital houses two of the leading houses one of. The there are great. There are many sorcerers who claim to heirship to the great sage Big Hat Logan. And the profaned capital houses one of two leading schools. Is there anything else? Oops. Let's see. Any of the other ones that are any different? Wherever they are. Ah, here it is. Robe worn. The formal gold stitching suggests they may also have been oracles. And same thing. So there'll probably be different details about each one that suggest they were oracles. Where is... Wherever they are, it <laughs> seems to be a bit hard to find. Old Sorcerer Gauntlets, Court Sorcerer Gloves. These figures may have also been oracles. Okay, that's nothing new. And what was the last one? Yeah, okay, so no real insights other than the hat and the torso piece. And that's a mimic. I don't feel hugely like fighting at the moment. What I want to know right now is, are there any bonfires nearby? Or a shortcut to a bonfire or something. I mean, the giant beast I fought, I fought because I figure, well, I was on top. I could deal with it. And I was right. Well, partially. I mean, I fell, but I was still more or less right. Okay. And that's the bonfire, so basically the run back is not that trivial. It's relatively trivial, but it's not that trivial. That being said... Yeah! Okay. Oh, I thought I'd critical attack it. Oh well. It's like, I see it stagger, I'm thinking, I can, I can do the stab, right? Can't do the stab. And the staff. Which does me a little good, but let's check it out anyway. Wherever it is. Note to self, put stuff away that I never use, which is most of the stuff. Wow, this is a lot of stuff. Here we are. Catalyst used by the court sorcerers of the profane capital. Very powerful when wielded by an exceptionally intelligent sorcerer. The court sorcerer laid claim. The court sorcerers laid claim to the legacy of the renowned Big Hat Logan, going so far as to emulate him with copies of the staff he used. And the skill boosts the strength of sorceries for a very short period. Nice. But what is its actual stats? I didn't. I'm curious. Ah, uh, a scaling, but I guess a low base spell buff. That's usually the way it goes in Dark Souls. You have some. Items for magic that have low scaling, but have a really high base. So if you're not particularly invested in that school of magic or high intelligence, high faith, then you won't be too left out. And there's others that are actually high scaling, but have low base. And so they're they're meant for people who are dedicated to that particular style of spellcasting. I'm fairly certain that the chime I have is one of the ones that's dedicated to priest characters, like actual full-on faith builds, which... I don't know if it's the most appropriate, since this is more of a paladin build. Ow. How many embers do I have? Eh, I've got enough. Partly I'm curious if anyone's written messages down. Usually if there's something like a monstrosity, as in a boss, people will have written down what's going on. But it looks like no. If there's a monstrosity, it's not something people see fit to help other people out with. Oh, just another one of... another two of... Three of these. Okay, well, it seems to be pretty quiet. As long as I don't... Oh, wait, but it might hit the others. Better to lure it out. 
Okay, that's a grab attack, I'm sure. Ow. Bad move. Ow. This is bad. Darn you, camera. Get out here. Oh, wait. I'm in here. Shit. That's not what I want. Ow! Oh, crap. This is what I was entirely trying to avoid. Ah. Okay, so. This is not good. No, they're not. Okay, just figured I'd check. Huh. Oh, shoot, I'm getting toxic again. I'm gonna move desperately. I don't want to find out if that's a grab attack. I'm just gonna guess it is. Oh no. Ow. I'm dead. My only hope is to accept the toxin fate. Ow. Okay, okay, so if there's... If these guys are out here, there's someone in there. See us. Oh, great, I got toxic again. <laughs> They'll probably come back, but at least no one's in here. Purging stone. That's of some use, I suppose. Is that it? That's all that's down here, is a purging stone. And three of these monsters, which... might be unique? I don't know. Wow, is that really worth all the fanfare? Oh! Maybe. We'll find out. Oh, crap. I'm not doing too hot. Toxic is not bad when you're... Toxic is not bad when you're dealing with monsters that you can basically take out in three swings. When we're dealing with these monstrosities ahead. Wow. It's a bit of a different story. I was right. I was right. Wait, can I mash my way out of this? Not in time. Wow. Great. Okay, I don't know how to deal with that. I really don't. But I'll cut out the run back. I'm going to get back my souls, so be back in a sec. All right, we're back. And so I'm back at Earthal Dungeon because we got the Jailer's Keys. And there were some things that were shortcutty, potentially, or at least could not be opened because they were locked. And I want to know if the Jailer's Key is the thing I needed in the first place. And yes, it was. Sure was. And there's something that's going to scream at me. I'm guessing this will scream at me as soon as I grab the book. Item. Go on, then. Okay, you're not going to scream at me. Very well, then. Was there anything else? Oh, that's satisfying. Okay, is there anything else I needed to do with this thing? Probably. Ow. How do you like that, huh? All right, so I think that's... Actually, a... that can't be it. There's got to be something else, right? Uh... All right, well, that works. Stabity! Ooh, that feels good. Oh, really? Media attack didn't work. What the heck? Another soldering iron. All right, where was I trying to go? Someone looking for a fight. Don't want really to feel like doing that right now, although admittedly, I often am, so, eh, fair. Okay, wrong weapon. There we go, that's the weapon of choice. Oh, hey, there's another thing that might be locked. 
Good thing I went exploring. Let's go exploring. Hey, whoops. Wrong choice of spell. So yeah, this is probably also locked with the Jailer's Key Ring. And yes, it is. Hey, victory lap. Prisoner's Chief a Prisoner Chief's Ashes. You know what that means. Story time! Umbral Ash of the Prisoner... Umbral Ash of the Prisoner Chief of the Catacombs. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. The Prisoner Chief uses clout to hoard all manner of things, but died without putting them to use. Hey, more stuff for me then. Sounds good. Alright, so seeing as we are on the victory lap of this area... I should also point out, there is, in fact... Oh, this is the maggot section. So, back in the area we were just in, the Profane Capital, there was a completely other path I haven't taken yet. That's the next thing to do. I just figured... Oh, crap. Right, this thing doesn't stagger, does it? Nope. I don't know why I even bothered there. Okay... This is gonna hurt. Ow. I need to find a place to stand so I can actually heal up. Okay. Good. Ow. What the heck? I can't see. This game's camera can be so annoying sometimes. Like, it's easier for me to not be locked on this, against this enemy because then I can actually see where I'm... Ah, she was trying to avoid that. And to that end, I will put on the torch... I don't care which hand it's on, just get these maggots off me. Sheesh. Alright, good, cool. That wasn't so bad. I am curious, though. I mean, I've come this far. I might as well check. No, there is nothing here that requires use. That is that. So, this side of it has been relatively thoroughly explored. Which leaves, of course, the other side. With the three jailers. Which I always find a pain in the butt. Oh, hey. A new path. And an enemy that's there for no reason? Well, whatever. Are there a reason for that? Nope. Just to be wary of left. Alright, so the other side is probably where things will be interesting. I'm not sure how I want to explore that. Ow. Wait a sec. Isn't this the other side? Oh, no. No, this is the first side. This is the side I started on. All right. So I have to get across the bridge, and then we'll be good. Except for that stupid thing with the jailers. Actually, from here... I can kind of see if I've missed anything so far. Because if I go up here... Looks like no. That leads to the profane capital. That path down by there... Yeah. Oh, seriously, I missed? Ah, that's gonna be the death of me. Oh. Wow, that was close. How I approach this is gonna determine a lot on the next few seconds. I approached it wrong. I did it wrong. I got lost my health. Okay, whatever. I'll grab my souls once again. Spare you all the run back. And learn that really stick to the longsword against those jailers. And we're back. Wasn't so bad. Okay, so now just continue along exploring this area, hopefully finding something of interest. Maybe. There were locked doors here, right? I honestly don't remember, and I haven't checked the video footage just to double check halfway through the episode, as that would be kind of weird. But. It doesn't really look like it. Alright, since I don't want to deal with those directly, let's just bypass them completely. I know there are no locked doors there. There was one of those blue magic zombie things that was, like one of those things that was in another side room by the jailers. That's the thing that 
would actually be over there. I don't really want to deal with. Yeah, like that. There is not much. Ow, get out away from me. Okay. I'll respect you a little more than I am right now, but then get away from me. Oh, that's spacing. So yeah. There's that enemy and that's about it. There's not much else. So it looks like the Jailer's key ring is not as useful as I hoped it was. And I think this is the air... Whoa. Oh, there it is. What area is this again? Is this the area that I went down to to get to the Jailer's? I think so. Yeah, it is. It's the area that I need the meditation gesture for. Okay, so I'm going to skip past to where I was back at Profane Capital. So be back in, well, for you, pretty much an instant. How do I get this way? Okay, we're back to the Profane Capital, and I lost my souls trying to get them back. Fell. <sighs> Fell to my death trying to jump to avoid falling to my pain. Boy, was that inefficient. How do I get to that item? It's still bugging me. Maybe I just dropped from up there? I mean, it looks like there's a platform for that corpse, so I'm guessing that's what I have to... Oh, wait a sec. Oh! That's what that ladder is! I thought it was... Okay, cool. I know where I had to go. I know exactly where to go. There's a ladder right here. And there's going to be the gargoyle as well, very shortly. Or, I think there is. Usually there is. But yeah, that ladder leads back here... And leads to a rusted coin, which was a very little use. Oh well. Okay, so I guess there's no point going back down to the sub the lower area where the toxins are, because I've already gone through there and killed things and ultimately wasted my time because I lost all my souls. I mean, I guess I got Wrath of the Gods. So it wasn't complete wasted time. But I'm no closer to using it than I am right now. All right, whatever. It's dead. Oh, actually, no, no. I don't know. Kill ten of these to get my souls back, so I guess it's not all bad. How do I get down there? How do I get down there? That's a good question. We have a path. Okay, I see. Or I don't, actually. Oh, wait a sec. Oh! Oh, okay. Well, that's easy enough. I think. Just check. It might be down the staircase that was around here. There was a staircase around here. There's also a ladder possibly around here. Okay, no. That's not what I was looking for. It's, it must be back up and then around. And then from there, ladder. And from ladder, I guess, new area. Where do I go to get that ladder, though? I mean, it's not up there. I don't think. That's the area I came in on. Is it up there where the bonfire is? I think maybe. Oh yeah, it looks like it is. Let's check that up. I think near the bonfire there was another ladder. That's what I'm going to go check out, and I can't remember offhand. This area is surprisingly difficult to navigate, just for how it's laid out. Oh, there's a lower area. Yeah, I'm finding it surprisingly difficult to navigate. Just because it's kind of hard to tell where things are supposed to be. You know, let's just bonfire up again. 
because why not? I'm right there. Ah, there's the ladder. Perfect. This is what I was looking for. No time wasted. Or little time wasted, at least. And this is where we could jump. We look like we could jump to and could not. I don't know why it looked like there's a trap you could jump this, because you can just walk it. Oh. Oh, that fire. Ow! Oh, well. Thought it was safe. Was not. Okay. That gargoyle needs to die. Ideally, it needs to die in my terms. Because I don't know how to fight on this weird slanted bridge with a fireball coming at me, but I don't think I have a choice. deal with this maybe I go past it ow man this is annoying oh I see yeah I go past it that's how we do the thing got a nice arena to fight it in large little weary Wow. All this gold and treasure and such. Is this a boss area? Almost looks like it. Except the entrance isn't right for a boss area. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. So these are the Pyromancer equivalent of Jailers, and wow, they're tough. So, looks like we'll be relatively easy to backstep, though. Yeah, there we go. And of course, we backstab so we can heal. Because backstabbing gives us FP, and when we can heal. Three times. Oh, and there's another Gargoyle. This is a pr pretty good place to fight it, though. Handmaid's Dagger. This is getting curious. Wait, where'd it go? There we go. Dagger used by handmaids of the profane capital. Each successful attack replenishes a slight amount of FP. It is said that these women took pleasure in wounding others. And the skill allows you to break guard of shielded foes. Huh. Okay. What the heck is this place? It's very sadistic. Oh. Oh, yeah, I love the. Ah, oh, seriously. Oh, nice. Did manage to kill it relatively easily, but it's like that fire. Come on. That was a little much. Oh, well, anyway. Continuing along. Ah. Lord of Cinderhead. Okay, that's probably Aldrich. Huh. Because the handmaids aren't like jailers. They don't reduce my max health when I fight them. Ah, okay. They do have a breathe fire and are there for a pain in the butt. Ow! So, as always, lure the more mobile enemies out of the way and... Oh, crap. Ah, oh, please tell me there's a shortcut. Ow! I can't tell where things are right now. Okay, I've got my bearings again. Ah, this is annoying. I thought the handmaid wasn't mobile. What the heck? Well, backstab just to give myself a bit of breathing room. Ah. Ow. That should have been a long sword swipe. All right, got you now. Got you dead to rights. Although, thankfully, it doesn't shoot fire. Which is a very annoying property of the last one, and thankfully not a property of this one. All right. 
Now just seven more handmates to deal with, and then another four to deal with, and then we should be good for fighting the boss, assuming that there's some sort of shortcut to it. Which I am assuming. Okay, that was tough, but doable. Let's switch back to the longsword, though. I mean, yeah, they're, they're a large group, and so they're probably better dealt with with the Wolf Knight Greatsword, but they're also individually fairly powerful, and I... and can stun them easily, so... Yeah. Oh, crap. They spotted me. Ah! Shit! Alright. Yeah, this is where I... Don't want to... Ow! You weren't... Oh, right, because I staggered you. I made my own demise there. Shit. Okay. You're down. You're down. You two are going to be a bit of a pain. You're down. Ow. You're stabbing at me. I don't appreciate stabbing. Oh. Oh, yeah. You like me? You like stabbing? I have some of it. There we go. Yeah, all right, got them all. And I got enough FP to heal up again without having to use my Ashen Estus. I would say efficiency, but I used so much Estus in that fight that that would be completely disingenuous. Mimic? Uh huh. Double Mimic. That's cruel, Dark Souls devs. Out of FromSoft, rather. Why playing Dark Souls devs? You're just FromSoft. Or just by name. That's cruel, Miyazaki. Okay, they're gonna go for the... No, kick? I was expecting the grab. There's grab. And Mimic 1 down. What do you have in store for me? A rusted gold coin, which... Is not super useful to me because that's basically just increased drop rate. Now what I should have done in the first place, which is... And then grab attack will come. Ah! Oh, it wasn't grab attack. Thankfully. And now you're dead. Because you misgrabbed. Oh, that's a punish. Hey, I got enough souls back to level up again. Just about. Great Shield of Glory. Not that I care, but let's read it out because that's what I do. A great shield adorned with flowing patterns, a celebration of an ancient glory. Boast the stability boast the highest stability of such shields, but with reduced stamina regeneration speed. Perhaps it is glory that begets indolence. And it's got a shield bash special, because it is a large shield, and that's what they do. You know, I'd have expect for the boss to be some kind of dragon, just given this horde of stuff. Mostly armor and plates? Hang on. Oh no, no, there's there's also just general cookware. Or teapots or genie lamps, not really sure which. How do you like stabbing? Okay, you're not gonna get stabbed, you clearly do not like stabbing. Oh, you do. I hope I get satisfy. And the last one of you... Aw, you don't want to get stabbed. How cute. Too bad. You get stabbed anyway. But you people enjoyed stabbing. Aw, that Aldrich Sapphire. I mean, so far that's been, what, five that I've gotten for free? Well, for backstabs? I mean, I may not have been able to get outright bloodborne health regeneration, but at least between Ultra Sapphire and the heal spell, I've been able to get something. Nope, that's just stone. I mean, look at this bridge. Look at it. Just look at it. This is a boss fight or mini boss fight or something waiting to happen. 
There's even an item right in the middle. It's a wide open bridge. What is going to come after me? There's got there's something here. There's got to be. Is this whole thing this Is the game trolling me? Is this actually just a setup to make me feel more afraid than I should be? I don't see anything yet. Oh, it's just a rusted coin. Yep, game was trolling me. I think. Unless it's one of those things where the game makes it think you're, it's trolling you, and then in the way back, something tries to hit me, and it catches me off guard. No, I'm doubting that too. What the heck is that noise? Such a strange noise. Man, I was kind of hoping for a shortcut. Everything here is going to respawn. And I only have two Estus left. Uh, there's not going to be a bonfire next to that, I'm sure. Maybe I'm wrong. I just doubt it. Oh, another mimic? Oh, no, it's actually a real chest. Hey, another ember. Hey, who knew? A treasure area actually had a proper treasure chest. No... More mimics, or at least not a mimic. Something that was not a mimic. That's new. I haven't seen that in a while. Really, I haven't, come to think of it. The last four or five chests I've encountered have been mimics. Both in the Irithal Dungeon and the Profane Capital. This has been a very high mimic area. Yeah, because there was two that I... Two that I used the Undead Hunter charm on. One that I found in the lower Profane Capital. That I killed right next to that hand beast. And those two in this room over the, the other side there. That's five. That's a lot of mimics. That's an obscene amount of mimics. All right, so it looks like there's no shortcut, but the run back, if you're straight up running, is not too bad because all those priestesses or the handmaids, they were all facing away. Like they were all facing towards the walls they and facing the fire. They weren't actually facing me, so I could actually run past them and not fight them. So, it's not a big deal. Weapon required... Well, yeah, no shit. Visions of Demon. Alright, so let's just test the run back. Because I'm going to level up, come back, test the run back, fight this thing once. And then... I will... Probably in the I'll end the episode there. Not probably. I will end the episode one shot, and then I'll end the episode. And the next episode will start as usual with a death montage of me fighting that boss. So I'll level up and then come back. All right, we're back. I'm just gonna briefly test out the run back, but I feel like just showing it because it seems like it's a thing to show. So yeah, the ha handmaids are definitely there, even if they only show up when I get slightly closer. And it doesn't look like anything's on the bridge. What, really? Oh, there you are. Well, that's fine. I was banking on it to jump, so everything's good. Oh, yeah, we don't need a shortcut. Oh, hey, it's a thing. See ya! All right, I'm going to give myself a bit more health before I start out. How many signs are up here? There's a lot of signs. Cool. I might set up mine after I beat this thing. Yorm the Giant. Okay. This is a Lord of Cinder. The flames, huh? I mean, I realize that's sort of been the arc words of this game, but I'm curious if that means anything. Like, are, is you're going to suddenly start shooting at fire, and is that going to be meaningful? Okay. Wow, this thing's a tank. I missed something. I must have missed something, because this thing is 
a complete tank, and it's going to take forever to get through this. Like, I haven't even gotten hit yet. It's just... Yeah. Is this an endurance match? Like, can you last 20 minutes? I'm going to have to... Damn, I wish I had software that I actually do sped up video. Oh, shoot, that hit me. Well, I mean, Abyss Watchers had two stages, and this one's bound to have two stages as well. I feel like there's something like hitting... Maybe hitting the weapon does something? I mean, hitting the head would presumably do more damage, but this is... A lot of damage. It's a swing. Man, I hate to fight this co-op. Just when you consider how long it would take for this to happen in co-op. Because remember, in co-op, enemies get extra. Oh, bosses at least get extra health. Actually, I think all enemies do. I think as soon as you summon co-op, you get. Okay, this is not good. Anyway. This could take a while. I'm just gonna, let's just assume I die and not really worry about, actually, you know what? No, let's not assume I die. There's something up here. What is this? Storm rule, oh! I see what I'm supposed to do now. The only problem is that I don't know how I'm supposed to switch to this weapon while actually not dying. But thankfully, I organized my storage box before all of this. Oops. Oops. Okay, this is... Okay, let's just get... Thankfully, we're going to the source box. I don't have to worry about this as much. But holy crap. Okay, back to this. So, the reason I'm going, oh, that's what it is, is because of Demon Souls. Ow. Even though I'm about to die? Ow! Darn it! I can't seem to move properly. Oh, shit, it's filling up. Or no, is it still really... Damn it, I have no time to figure out the weight of this thing. Oh. Okay. No, the problem is I'm still fat rolling, and I don't know how to reduce the weight. Because I don't know how much weight this thing has. What? No, see, what I'm supposed to do is this. What? No, this is a storm ruler, isn't it? Like, I, I hit, I attack, and then stuff comes out? Like, isn't that what happens? I thought that's what happened. And how much weight do I have? Shit, get rid of this. Okay, now we're back to fast rolling. Ah, I have no time to figure out what's going on here. Alright, we'll have to regroup because I'm pretty sure what I'm supposed to do. It's kind of like, I think it's supposed to be like the Storm King boss fight from Demon Souls. And the Storm Ruler is supposed to be what you use to get through that. Problem is, I don't know how it works. Like, I figured it was, like, in that area you attack and it causes big gusts of wind that would deal a lot of damage and get to the tankiness of Yorm. But I'm not so sure now. Let's read this description. Also figure out how heavy this thing is. It's a greatsword. It's eight pounds. Okay, let's put that as well as the refined longsword for now. So, Storm Ruler. Greatsword, standard. Greatsword of the Broken Blade, also known as the Giant Slayer for the residual strength of Storm that brings giants to their knees. Yorm the Giant once held two of these, but gave one to the humans who doubted him and left the other to a dear friend before facing his fate as a Lord of Cinder. 
Skills Storm King. Assume stance to imbue sword with storm. Most effective when facing giants. Okay, that's what I figured. Which means this is the weapon you're supposed to use. And that's why there was stuff in front saying, use weapon or be wary of weapon. I'm just going to see if I can upgrade this. But I'm going to end the episode here. So, okay, let's just end the episode here. I'll upgrade it off camera and then we'll continue in the next one. But yeah, we found another Lord of Cinder. So thank you for watching and see you next time.